Weight loss drugs known as GLP-1s are all the rage. Nearly 12% of all Americans have taken one, originally developed for diabetes and weight management. Other off-label uses are becoming more mainstream. And one of those uses is for obstructive sleep apnea. The FDA recently approved the first ever medication to treat that condition, and it is a drug many have been using recently to lose weight. CBS News Miami Lauren Pastrana explains. Sleep. It's often considered the key to good health and well-being. The sleep was more, more solid, more deep, a deeper sleep than, than anything else. Owen Wilde is getting more and better sleep now that his sleep apnea is under control, thanks to his CPAP machine and terzepatide, also known as Zepbound or Munjaro, the same drug helping millions lose weight and battle diabetes. And I've been on the trizepatide probably four months now. And you've noticed more weight loss in that time, or has it helped you kind of stay steady? You know, I think it's a combination that, you know, the, the, the first chunk was always the easiest chunk. So for me, it is doing all the, all the little things all the time the right way. The FDA recently approved terzepatide for treatment of obstructive sleep apnea, which occurs when a person stops breathing while sleeping. I like to say sleep is important because being awake is important. Right? Uh, it has significant effects on our cognitive function. Dr. Samuel Gurevich is a pulmonologist and sleep physician at Cleveland Clinic Florida in Weston. When you go to sleep, everything relaxes, and that includes the muscle tone that controls the back of the throat. And for people who are predisposed to this, whether it's just how they're built genetically, weight uh, plays a role in many patients as well, that back of the throat overly relaxes and can even collapse when you're sleeping and you're basically choking on your own back of the throat. Dr. Gurevich isn't surprised the drug is helping his sleep apnea patients. There's nothing magical about this medication as it relates to sleep apnea other than that it can cause weight loss. So as those patients lost weight, um, their sleep apnea also got better. Wild says he hasn't experienced the side effects sometimes associated with GLP-1s like gastrointestinal issues or headaches, but he has noticed an improvement in his overall quality of life. So it's not a magic bullet, so I've got to be really cautious of all of the aspects of health and nutrition and exercise, but I definitely know that this is a, uh, it does help, it does make it easier. The FDA approval of terzepatide for sleep apnea could make the drug more accessible and affordable to those who need it for this purpose. You may have heard there was a shortage of GLP-1s, but earlier this year, the FDA also removed terzepatide from the list of drugs in short supply. Lauren Pastrana, CBS News, Miami.